Hi guys, so there are situations where your 1 plus 6 can become completely hard breaks. Now, if you have twerp, you can go ahead and use stock firmware using the unroot god I posted yesterday. Now, if your fast boot's working, you can also use the fast boot unroot method, all right, which I posted on my forum yesterday. Now, there are situations both of those end you up in a boot loop, which is what happened to me today. Or maybe your phone just doesn't turn on, all right? Whatever the case, this is the ultimate heartbreak unroot method. It is actually available for all the OnePlus. For the OnePlus 6, um, it is also available, of course. The first thing you want to do is turn off your phone and go ahead and connect a cable from your computer to your phone. All right? Um, make sure it's... Now, it may just start booting like that. Go ahead and turn it off. Power off. And then... Uh, make sure it's connected to your computer. Oh, it keeps turning off. Keeps Turn it off and then you can hold down volume up and power. And that will put it into this uh, heartbreak unroot mode, MSM mode. So I'm going to power it off, hold down volume up and power. Keep trying. You also need a Windows computer. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. But let me turn the sound up. But if you get into this mode, your phone will be in this MSM mode. It's will be blank, but it will be still recognized by your computer. All right? Once you get into this blank state, let's go to your computer. Okay, guys. First thing you want to do is go to highonandroid.com and go to stock firmware menu and go to OnePlus 6 stock firmware. And here you'll find uh, OnePlus 6 Hydrogen OS 5.1.3 Android 8.1 Oreo MSM Heartbreak Tool. All right, go ahead and download this. And also, you will also need OnePlus 6 Oxygen OS 5.1.5 8.1 Oreo. All right, go ahead, and, go ahead and go to click here to download. All right, where it says download here, download that. And also the same thing for um, the other file. Now, if you're watching this in the future, um, you can still use this method uh, as long as you install the stock firmware to 8.1 Oreo. Maybe you're watching this next year when, when there is Android 9.0 uh, P, then you can go ahead and install this and then do an OTA upgrade after uh, unrooting. All right, so you need both of these. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the OnePlus 6 Hydrogen uh, OS 5.1.3 which is the Chinese version of Oxygen OS, but that's the only OS you can install with the hard brick unbrick tool. Next, what you want to do is go into your device manager of your Windows computer, uh, and you'll find under ports, you'll see Qualcomm USB QD loader. You don't have to install drivers. You'll see this, all right? As long as you're using Windows, um, you don't need to install drivers. All right, next, go to your download folder. You should have downloaded these two files, all right? The first thing we're going to do is unbrick using the Hydrogen 5.1.3, which will get us on the Chinese version of Oxygen OS. And once we unbrick our phone, we're going to go ahead and reinstall Oxygen OS. You can stay with Hydrogen uh, OS if you want. I don't know why you want to, but <laughs> it's it's made for the Chinese market. But if you want to go back to Oxygen, download these two files. I right, go ahead and double click the Hydrogen uh, hard brick. Uh, extract all and you'll get a folder called um, OnePlus 6 Hydrogen 5.1.3 Heartbreak. All right, go ahead and double click there. Go to OnePlus 6 folder and go ahead and double click on MSM Download Tool V4.0. All right. All right, go ahead and hit start. And you'll see it working. Um, for some reason it fails, then um, go ahead and try unplugging um, and hold down the power and the volume for about 30 seconds. And as soon as it reboots, go ahead and try to get back into this MSM uh, mode. The greatest thing about OnePlus 6 uh, or OnePlus phones in general is that they provide these hard unbrick tools. I actually found this out when I hard uh, bricked my 5T. It would not turn on at all while I was um, uh, trying to relock the bootloader last year, and that's the first time I used it. Um, so it is available for, I think, uh, I don't know the older devices, but I think it is actually available for all the older devices. Um, so OnePlus is actually providing you uh, the, you know, the engineer unbrick tool. 
Now, I don't know if you've been following Android, stuff like Galaxy, was it S2, the Epic 4G Touch, there was a lot of heartbreaking um, because there was sort of a flaw in how the Android partitions were set up for that uh, particular phone. And you could put your phone into this same mode. Basically, this is the low-level format uh, Qualcomm communicates to your computer. Now, Samsung didn't provide a tool like this, so a lot of people who heartbreak their phones basically <laughs> break their phones and couldn't use it. But the greatest thing about OnePlus products is that you could heartbreak it and basically reflash everything straight to the Qualcomm chip. This is what we're doing right now. Um, so when this is done, it's gonna reboot and it didn't actually take, I don't think it's actually taking that, that long. You can actually see the progress here, what it's doing. It's actually flashing every single file to all the chips. Um, so this is very interesting. And I, I really feel like OnePlus, I really love, you know, how they're really providing these tools because, you know, it's going to help students, programmers, engineers to really, you know, reverse engineer this phone and learn more about it. Um, this is really an educational phone. The fact that you can even use an MSM tool. Um, this is, I think, the only Android phone you can do that. Um, you know, other companies have this tool, but they don't provide it to you, um, to the public. Obviously, you know, they're trying to protect their, um, you know, intellectual properties or whatever the, the reason is. But I really like that OnePlus is offering this tool. Anyway, it is almost done. Let's get our phone <laughs> back working. And I know some of you will end up in this state while rooting your phone. I have no idea what happened. I was flashing a bunch of boot image recovery files. And it is now booting. Let me go ahead and switch up the camera here. It just started rebooting. Now this is gonna boot you into the Hydrogen OS, which has a completely different ZH2 OS, uh, complete OS. This is actually the operating system for the Chinese market. But you can go ahead and sign in. I think it supports English. And then um, you can go ahead and basically use the system tool to reinstall uh, the software. So I'm gonna let it boot. And the first time I did this, I unbricked my phone. I was like, wait, this is not the OnePlus software. <laughs> it was the Hydrogen OS. Um, so I had to reflash Twerp and then I reflashed the Oxygen OS. Alright, so I boot it, so go ahead and change the language to US. Go ahead and sign in. Alright, one of the things I really like about this uh, phone is that you can sign in super quick, especially when you're trying to restore your phone. You can just skip through everything pretty fast. So this is the Hydrogen OS, um, pretty much actually the same. But you probably don't want to run this, so go ahead and go back to your computer. Go on your phone uh, and make sure to change this to transfer files. Alright, and then go back to your computer. Go back to your downloads folder and you're going to go and copy over the other file, the uh, the actual Oxygen OS. Go ahead and copy and go to um, the SDM845. Alright, this is your OnePlus 6. Go ahead and paste it in here. All right, and then we're gonna use uh, the system update, the local update feature to unroot us back into Oxygen OS. And once that's done, we should be completely back to Oxygen OS. Now make sure you copy this into the root directory, not in the subfolder, okay? It should be like here. All right, where it says internal share storage, put it there. All right, go back to your phone. We're gonna go to settings, go to uh, system updates, and go into this setting bar, go to local upgrade, and choose the Oxygen OS. And this is how you can install any stock firmware on your OnePlus 6 or any OnePlus device uh, using the local upgrade. So you don't have to use a stock recovery, you can do it straight from your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that, install now, and let this install, and when it's done, you should be happy that you got <laughs> your phone unbricked. 
Um, I'm also working on a good S9 ROM. <laughs> Sorry, let me go like that. I'm working on a new S9 ROM. I should have that for the Note 8. Post it soon. It runs flawless. Um, you get the S9 uh, AR emoji stickers. Sorry if I've been posting too much OnePlus 6 stuff. But I want to get this out of the way. Um, that way later on, you know, people get into problems. They're going to be able to unroot their phone. Sometime this week, I'll have this video up uh, for the S9 ROM, which one is flawless. All right, it's almost done. It should start rebooting, and um, you should be back on full Oxygen 6 OS. And now you can go ahead and reroute your phone or whatever. I'm going to actually reroute my phone and get on with my life again. <laughs> okay, when that's done, go ahead and simply reboot. And boom shakalaka, baby. Anyway, that's how you unroot um, your OnePlus 6 completely back to stock. Oh, I didn't have to sign in. I guess it doesn't delete data either. Alright, you should be good to go. Everything should be working. Back on Oxygen OS 5.1.5, 8.1 Oreo. Now, if you're watching this again in the future, if you want to do an update, just go to System Updates and update to the latest Android P or Android 10.1. 10.0 if you're watching this in two years or something have a great day um, check out my new forum at forum.highonandroid.com that's my new forum i'm going to be posting more stuff there and as always stay <coughs> on one plus six and an interesting fact if you reboot into fastboot it will actually lock the phone because this is a complete unbrick method um, this is like how they flash the actual phone at the factories so you have to unlock your bootloader and reroute Pretty cool, huh? Click here to subscribe. 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 To subscribe.